we are very um, negligent in the way we tell people about the opportunities that come from getting graduate training in, bi in the bio biological sciences. Um, most people think that if they take up graduate school and behave well, get their PhD, that uh, there'll be a place for them to be um, a faculty member and develop a laboratory group and get research grants. Um, these days, because the students are really ups upset about some of these issues, quite appropriately, uh, they will learn in the first year of graduate school that the, the picture is not that rosy, that in, in the U.S. at least, about one out of ten students who enter graduate school will actually end up uh, running a laboratory somewhere. Um, most of them will graduate, um, not all, most. Um, a very significant proportion will go into industry, which is not a bad thing, but it's, you know, the, the opportunities can be more limited. Um, everybody ends up being employed. As we were stressing this afternoon, the unemployment rate for people with advanced degrees in science is very, very low in the U.S., about 3%. Uh, and, um, but I think people need to enter a scientific career and go to graduate school with the sense that, first of all, you don't have to get a PhD. You may find along the way that you should get a master's <coughs> degree and do something that doesn't require more than that. Um, you may find that you don't want to run your own laboratory, that you'd rather um, run a core facility that helps uh, other scientists at an institution. Uh, you may want to simply work at the bench as a scientist instead of having to take on these responsibilities for teaching and administration and, and grant writing.